head on up to the Peace Country, where we stick with water as a way to get our adrenaline fix. Let's check in with reporter Emily Moyes as she goes along with the river rats to reach ultimate highs. We'll watch her as she gets suited up and strapped in for the ride of her life. Thanks, Tiff. We're down here at Peace Island Park where the Peace Region residents love to get their adrenaline pumping and they're going to show you right now. why this is the best way to get your adrenaline going? Well, um, if, you, if, if you have, an, I guess, not enough brains to go down a river at 225 kilometers an hour, uh, I don't know, it's an adrenaline rush. Just water so much different, the boats are so much different than cars. Well, jumbo racing, I think, is the best way to get your adrenaline going. So many things that can go wrong, that's the part that gets your adrenaline going. It's an adrenaline rush. I can't say I've ever done anything like this before, and I can't say I'd probably ever do it again, so. I hear we get to pretty high speeds on this puppy back behind me. Talk to me about the speeds on the water we're gonna do. Uh, in these boats, these are the unlimited boats, they're 23 foot eagle tunnel hauls. Uh, the, all three unlimited boats here are running the T58G turbine. And this is not your normal jet boat motor. They actually install a helicopter engine to ensure those top-notch speeds on the water. We'll be hitting speeds close to the 140 mark. Uh, one day we'll hit that. We're always within a mile an hour of it. I just wanted to interject because we're talking about miles here, not kilometers. No, this is miles an hour. We do everything on boats is miles an hour. Uh, it'd be 225 kilometers an hour is what we'll be close to today. It'll accelerate more than a drag car, and we'll corner we'll corner at 100 miles an hour. So that's wild. Are people screaming? Like what's like what happens when you're I, in the I passenger? Don't know if you scream! I can't hear them. We get a big gust of wind. We'll hold the boat down because the boat rides basically on air, you'll see when we go by. Well, enough chit-chat. It is now my turn to suit up and strap in. This very attractive full-body flotation suit is to ensure I won't drown if we do crash. Um, excuse me, Bobby, I'm kind of starting to rethink that waiver I signed earlier. usually average speeds around 135 miles per hour. However, with myself riding in Bobby's boat, we topped a number he had never seen before. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wow, we have some very big news. Can we share? We set a record in this boat going the fastest that Bobby has ever gone with me by his side as his navigator. And that speed was 143 miles per hour, or 230 kilometers. So hearing other extreme boaters topping out slightly lower, I certainly felt like an accomplished co-pilot. Yeah, we're going close to 140 miles an hour, so everybody that gets in the boat says they want one. How did you feel out there? It was crazy. We got going really fast. I mean, we reached, I was watching it went and went, and we got 100 miles an hour, just over it, too. You seem like a pretty chill guy. Do you really get your adrenaline going, or is this just like another day in a car ride? It's just another day. Another day to some can be a serious adrenaline rush to others, especially when real safety is put to the test. There's so many things that can go wrong. That's the part that gets your adrenaline going. The speed is, is, is unreal, but uh, it's the speed that things happen and go wrong. When you have a few accidents, it's, it's really extreme. I know, we were almost playing chicken when I was in the boat with Bobby because another boat was coming our direction and I'm like, which side is he going to go? Um, sometimes the boats are only 10 feet apart, 5 feet apart, sometimes touching, it's pretty extreme. <laughs> Gets your adrenaline going, I'd say. After putting my life on the line, I'd love to see you guys top this. Stick around because after the break, we're still heading to the Kootenays and Quinnell to find the best way to get your adrenaline fixed. 